Hello, I wanted to make a video before the if February was over. I believe the first is tomorrow. Uh, make at least one video a month. I'm going to be making a lot of videos as far as uh, docu series and different things, but just one video a month of me talking and just uh, speaking about some subjects that's been on my mind. I am Marcus X. And this is the part of the Marcus X Streetcast. Um, if you don't know who I am, check me out, look me up. Uh, today I kind of want to speak on, I do want to speak on, um, I want to speak on balance. I want to speak on balance. Um. You know, as human beings, we have uh, a duality. We have a, a dual mindset. Well, you could call it good and evil. Uh, you could call it uh, an angel and a demon, uh, Inky and a Neil, Cain and Abel, Set and Haru, Set and Osiris. Uh, and I want to explain to you about balance. Uh, you know, I was talking to a gentleman about doing what's right and doing righteousness. And the young man said, uh, darkness came before light. And to me, this young 17-year-old man was trying to imply that darkness was evil. And darkness, evil became before light. And I, uh, and I asked him, I said, man, well, what? who told you that darkness was evil? You know, where, where are you getting it from? I said, because uh, I embrace my darkness to shine my light. And so what I mean about that is that uh, you have a darkness in you and you have a light in you. And you can say the light is good and the darkness is evil if you want to say that. Uh, I look at it as electricity. You know, you have a negative. With electricity, you ground a negative. And that's what I tell people. If you have... With negativity, you ground it. That's the math on it. And when you ground negativity, uh, it opens up a current that lets the current flow or the voltage flow. You know? And, uh, and so, uh, I told, I tell you, I'm like this. If you're too much in your darkness, which we could call set, uh, Cain, uh, Anil, or whatever, or the devil, uh, you know, you become evil. You caught up in sin if, if you're too deep into that. You're using your strength for evil. But then if you're too caught up in the light, uh, you're too nice. And that's a type of sin. And what I mean is about you're too nice is that you're letting people uh, take advantage of you. You're letting people bully you. Uh, you're not standing up for yourself to the point to you're not even standing up for righteousness. And what I mean by that is that, uh, you know, in a lot of families, families have secrets. And a lot of the secrets are evil. It's deep into the evil side, deep into the devil side deep into the demonic side, whether it's, uh, you know, family members, molesting children, uh, or whatever criminal, criminal activity, uh, evil things that people are doing that families want to keep a secret. And a lot of times in these families, uh, sometimes it'd be ministers and all that. They want to portray this righteousness of my family is righteous so they hide all the secrets and keep it and that's why in the bible it says your righteousness is like filthy rags uh this is what and, and, you know that to that is like when families keep secrets like uncle molesting a niece or, or different things y'all want to keep it a secret and the only person that you're mad at is the person that reveals the secret to other people and you attack that person and call that person an evil person uh, but you got to remember in the Bible and other religious texts, all darkness will be brought to light. And so 
if you're constantly hiding the evil that your family members are doing, you're protecting the devil. You're protecting demons and you're not being righteousness. And this hiding of these secrets is going to uh, fall back on you. It's going to leave your life in turmoil. And the only way to resolve these family issues and different things is to bring these things to light because uh, the people that you tell can help you. They can give you advice uh, because the kingdom is heaven is on the inside. God is on the inside. Christ consciousness is on the inside. And so uh, these other people have it in them and they have different perspectives. They've been through things too. That they probably can help you. But if you keep everything a secret and you keep everything closed in one day, all them demonic and devilish activities that you're protecting are going to uh, collapse on you. And that comes from, uh, we have a lot of uh, mothers who are pushovers. They're scared of their children. They're in bad situations. Maybe they feel responsible for the plight their child is in. So, you know, they try to financially help them in every way they can, but it never really helps. You know, it's more like your crutch. And, 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 and you're helping them, you know, do drugs or um, molest children or send children in the wrong direction or just a lot of evil things that uh, a lot of family members want to keep secrets to keep this prestigious look upon their family and not be embarrassed. Uh, but then they end up being embarrassed, even in the worst way in public, uh, because that stuff just builds and builds and builds and builds until it overflows. And then finally, you're pouring from an empty cup. And you know what I mean by being too nice is that you know, like I say, you're you're being bullied, you're being overran, you're not standing in your righteousness uh, with these secrets. You know, somebody, you know, one of your family members is robbing you, harassing you, and this and that, and you know, you don't want to call the authorities on them, or you don't want to tell nobody what's going on because it's your son, it's your daughter, uh, it's your grandson, it's it's you know, it's somebody that. You know, you, you got the street code to where uh, you can't resolve it and you're keeping everything a secret. And that's really going to harm you and the person eventually. And like I like to say, um, hurting yourself to help someone isn't helping either one of you. It's hurting both of y'all. Uh, so if you help people, it should never be that you're helping them and you're hurting yourself. It The help should help you and help them at the same time. Uh and so I like to say, don't keep secrets. You know, you don't really even religious texts where uh, keeping secrets of evil things that's going on in family and business is a good thing. Uh, all you're doing is protecting demons and you're protecting the devil and you're not bringing it to the light to where God can resolve and slay those demons and fix that issue. When you bring those issues to the light, God can help you through other people, through other services. And so, uh, don't get caught up into being too nice or too good to the world. You're not standing up for yourself uh, to where you're getting bullied. Uh, that's not righteousness. That's, that righteousness is this filthy rags. Uh, and, you, and so you always have to stand in righteousness. You have to set boundaries. You have to stand up for yourself. And on the other spectrum of the temperature gauge, because we can call it hot and cold, uh, you can't be too evil. And then they said, well, you can't be evil at all. Well, I'm not. Well, see, y'all got it messed up. Negative and positive is just energy. And so, like me, I grew up, you know, my father was a Vietnam veteran and a gangster. And he raised me as a real, like, man, man. And so I take that darkness that was I was born with and I use it for righteousness. I go into the communities. I fight for the people. I fight for the planet. I fight for civil rights. Uh, I take that toughness and I use it for good. Uh, so that's why I say you embrace your darkness and you shine your light. Now, if you're just using your darkness for evil, now that's sin. You know, you're taking your toughness and you're praying on the weak. That's sin. Uh, you're supposed to take your toughness, your negative, and you ground it. And you ground it by using it to shine your light. And that's how you have balance. And so... Um, You know, that's just really something that I wanted to speak on for the people because I know we're going through a lot of things in our community and people not understanding uh, what side they should be on. And they should be balanced. 
You're going to have negativity. You're born with it. That's a part of you. You're going to have positivity. That's a part of you. You're neutral. That's a part of you because we are electrical beings. And I'm learning a lot by taking the mechatronics, which is basically electrical engineering, understanding uh, science is a uh, mirror image of yourself. And so if you feel like there's a lot of negativity in your life, you ground it. And so you make your weakness a strength uh, and you ground it. And, I, and I'm going to tell you another thing is that uh, if you want to gain something, you got to give up something you love. If you want to gain something, you have to give up something you love. Uh, if you want to be a millionaire, if you know you want to be healthy, you want to be this and that, give up something you love. You got to let it go to grab hold of something else. So, like, I let go of smoking, and I'm in school trying to attain this degree. And so that's what's happening. So embrace your darkness, shine your light, if be balanced, if you want something, give up something you love to gain something else. Salute and peace.